but it's actually pretty deep but this isn't as bad as it was a second ago when I was coming up that hill of course but it's pretty that's like almost a foot some of those drifts are in the middle or at least I'm probably exaggerating it's at least like six inches but it's super slippery For some reason, my uh, blower fan started working again. Thank the Lord. I'm not sure what, why, but so I've got defrost working again, which is really nice. You can see how well, maybe, maybe still you can't see how bad this is. It's just crazy to think that this all dropped in like mostly a 24 hour period. This was like green grass like yesterday. I would hate to be coming up that hill right there at Baldwin Lake. This is the only thing that drives me crazy. Well, the car in front of me like started hitting their brakes halfway down a hill. It's like, dude, you can't do that. You need to know that you're coming up on a hill and you're gonna have to start hitting your brakes before the hill. Because if you try to hit them on the hill, odds are you're gonna slide. And then if anybody's behind you, they're gonna slide into you because nobody can stop going down a hill when it's like this. Dude. This is a more main road, so, oops, I guess I'm in the middle, you can't even tell. It's mostly slush, which is sometimes worse, especially when it's slush that's this deep. And I'm only going 25 miles an hour, and this is a 55 mile an hour road. And I'm still like in the middle because if you try to go off to the side, I'm getting pulled by the slush. The slush will pull you right off the road into a ditch. And I ain't going into a ditch in my little tiny car because I'll never get out. You can 100% tell that that's an inexperienced driver in front of me because they started just, they didn't speed up at all to get up that hill. And so they like just let the car slow down to nearly a crawl well the problem with that is you might not even make it up the hill and if you don't make it up the hill the person behind you is not making it up the hill or sometimes you might make it and they won't it's just kind of not a cool thing to do to somebody because then that means I have to slow down well ahead of because I don't know what you're going to do so I have to slow down more than you're slowing down so it made it difficult for me and my little car to try to get up that hill I think I know who's in the car in front of me, so I, if that's the case, she's very young. So it'd be so much better if my wipers didn't keep trying to make it blurry. But yeah, now, like, we cannot go over 25. It's just nasty out, but... That's what happens kind of when you you live in a state like this and the first several snowfalls are like really wet um, and on one hand that's good 
because it gives you a little more attraction. But on the other hand, um, when it's really wet like this, whoa, um, then the slush makes you, like, starts pulling you. Just like that. So, gotta love Michigan. Now she slowed down way ahead of time. But this road, or this hill, I mean, it is a hill. Like, it's a decent, you know, decent slope. My phone just will not focus. So at least she learned that time. Yeah, I don't know what my phone thinks it's trying to focus on. I don't get it. This hill is really hard to get up after she had to turn right before the hill started so I couldn't really get a running start at it. But, oh, I made it. I slipped a few times, but we made it. Whoa. This is about, oh man, that slush is real bad right here. It's under the snow is the problem. You can't always see it. This is about where I was last night. Maybe a little bit further back now that I got that slush where uh, two deer ran out in front of me in the middle of a really bad snowstorm, which is what started this stuff right here. Dang, I almost went off the road. That was scary. I've had to slow way down. For some reason, it's like extra slippery through here. where it's like I go to take video and then it starts getting blurry again. It's like, come on, man. But, yeah, this is nasty. But I've been doing overnights at work because we're resetting our hardware department. And, uh, which means a lot of tearing down and things you can't do with a, a bunch of people there. So, volunteered to do overnight shift so it's almost four o'clock in the morning and I'm on my way home um, I started at seven and uh, yeah well, at least it looks like my neighbor must have plowed our road because we live on a little dead-end dirt road that doesn't get plowed by the county Look, they're out shoveling for me. Aw. That's nice. I asked them to open the garage for me, too, which they did. So, that's awesome. That was nice of them. Hey, guys. I just wanted to show you what winter is doing to us right now. Uh, today is Saturday, December 13th, and this is like two days worth of snow. You can see we've got over a foot there, or it, it kind of, you can't tell in the video how much it is, but it's a lot, and it's still going, still snowing. Um, I don't know if you can see that the raised beds are almost disappeared. It's really dark, so it's kind of hard to tell. But that little that little corner that you see, those little things sticking up right there, are the corners of the raised bed. So, just wanted to show you what's going on. Unfortunately, I still have to drive in this because I still have to go to work. But, yeah. We've got like, I would say a foot and a half of snow. So, that's what we're working with right now. Just lovely, lovely weather.
camera really doesn't do it justice, but it's still snowing and blowing here like crazy. This is what it looks like out my front door right now. Look at that big overhang of snow that's about to come down any second now. There's like three feet of snow on the bushes. Obviously, this is just mounded and gathered all over my porch. I mean, that's like four feet high. It's like all been funneled in here. This is just insane. Here we are two days later after being beaten with more and more and more snow. Like at least two feet fell in about a 36 hour period. Um, this is kind of what it looks like right now. Um, it was, the roads are definitely a lot better than they have been the last two days, but still it's quite Quite slippery out especially for my little car so yeah just wanted to show you what it looks like when you can actually see it during the day it is quite beautiful to look at when the first uh, snows really hit especially when they cling to the branches like that it looks really pretty like a painting but man is it gross it was negative uh, four last night I don't know what it was with wind chill, um, but I think the high today was four degrees Fahrenheit. So definitely very cold. Um, and it's been windy or breezy today. So uh, not as bad as it was last night, but still pretty nasty. All right, so it's like midnight, January 16th. And I just thought I would come outside, kind of show you what my little front entrance looks like. Just because it's been so very cold, which makes the, so the snow, for some reason it makes the snow super sparkly. So, I think you can see that in here. But it's like gems, it's like diamonds everywhere. And... For some reason, when it's super, super cold, the snow just sparkles like this. And it shows up even better in person. And it's so beautiful. It's so cold and miserable outside, but this it just looks so beautiful out here really barely see because it's really dark but it's so pretty so we still we ended up getting about two feet of snow or so I think and uh yeah I mean I walked out there earlier to fill the bird feeders and it was up over my kneecaps and I'm not a short girl I'm like five six so um it's very deep and it's fairly fluffy. So I was able to trudge through it pretty easily. But look how pretty, though. See how sparkly and beautiful it is? It's like my favorite kind of snow. And it doesn't sparkle like this when it's, like, barely freezing. It has to be really cold. Like, really cold. I thought I would show you. Let's see. The motion light should come on any, any time now. There we go. I don't know if you can tell. The front of my house. See that big, huge glob of snow coming down from my roof? And look at my poor bushes. All this stuff's going to have to get cleared because that can be a pretty bad danger 
if that whole sheet of snow fell on somebody. Um, but also, if it gets too heavy, it can actually pull down your eaves and stuff. And there's, I don't have a roof rake, so I'm finding it kind of hard to breathe, actually, because it's so cold out here. It's like, well, probably by now, it's probably about five degrees out uh, Fahrenheit. So... Look how nice my neighbor is to use his little quad to plow my driveway. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you that just because it's the only time I really get to be outside. And you can hear how squeaky the snow is, too. Can you hear that? You walk on it, it's just squeaks and creaks on your feet and it feels pretty cool actually but otherwise other than that I really am not a fan of winter like look at how I don't know if you can tell I've got my pajama pants on but this is like up to my mid thigh um because of course this is not only where it's been plowed and pushed up to but it's also kind of just where it gathers from the wind being blown. And you can see all of the snow and stuff out there that's overhanging the roof even of the garage. Oh, no. Yeah, it's getting hard to breathe out here, so. And uh, my, my lungs feel like they're sort of contracting. So, I'm gonna go in. But I just wanted to show you and bring you outside so you can also hear how peaceful and quiet it is besides my crunching. Um, that says it's zero or below zero, I guess it says. Looks like it's, what, two below zero? It could be. It's hard to say, but it's, it's definitely very cold out here and it's hard to breathe. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to leave you with that really pretty sparkly view.